What is up, trainers? Your boy Trainer Pyro here with another review review of the Jazzwares new Select Figure Zapdos figure. I like how they're making legendary Pokemon figures now. We need more of them. Actually, I wouldn't mind if they did all of Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4 legendary Pokemon figures in this line. Hopefully, we get the legendary dogs next. We're still waiting on um, Moltres. We have Articuno, which I reviewed in this channel, and then we have now Zapdos. But anyway, there's another change in the set. You see Pokemon, Pikachu right here, Select. You see Articulated Zapdos, Electhor, uh, Zapdos right here on the side. You see the same thing, side in the front. You see Lucario's in the set. Can't wait to get him. Just see the eyes are perfect here. They're not perfect in the store. So we gotta wait for a good one. Anyway, you see um, Charizard and Quasar that we have reviewed in the set. You see Jazz wear the logo. You see all this crap right here nobody cares about. And on the same side, you see a picture of Zapdos looking very menacing. Or very, uh, I guess we call it Zapdos on the side of the package. And let's get this open. Now, keep in mind with these select figures, you have to realize that there's a on the top when you open them, there is a stand and several pieces. So, you have to take that out first. And that's easy to put together. You see the base right here. This actually feels newer than the other ones. I don't know. But anyway, you see the base right here. You put plug that in right here. You have to do it on a tighter fit right here connects right there and then this connects right here and this goes under where the figure goes do that in the back and let's get Zapdos out now this is Zapdos out of the packaging and the first thing I wanted to do was get him in here with Articuno his running counterpart because we were only missing Moltres and I think well that and Lugia but Lugia has already been revealed to be the epic figure for this thing hopefully it's bigger than both of these but you know as it stands I feel like I like I don't know which one. I think I like Zapdos better just because Articuno is only in like, doesn't have a neck joint like this one does. We'll get to that as soon as we get to it. But also this one is, feels more poseable. Now the thing about the stands is, I feel like this is, the stand is smaller or like maybe newer, cleaner. I, I feel like this is smaller though. But anyway, you see how these figures stack up. They are variable, like almost the same size, just that Zapdos' wings are more flat while Articuno's wings are more, I guess they're horizontally out there. Uh, not vertically, horizontally. But anyway, let's get more into Zapdos. Now to get into Zapdos, he does have articulation that is up to par. So his neck does go all the way down here on a hinge and this hinge is straight and floors can get all types of flying poses. Plus inside there is a ball joint. So his head does move around, twist side to side and move side to side up and down. All the things you're gonna want it to do. Now for the wings, they are like a standard wing thing. So you know he's gonna be moving them. Well, hold on down horizontally up so it's like the bird flapping motion but for Zapdos's legs he does have a hinge right here in the thigh that goes forward and back he does have a hinge another two hinges in the foot and the talons every single talon has a hinge so he can like grab other things I wouldn't say he can grab them strongly but he can grab them yeah let's look at look at the Zapdos figure you see the eyes are painted nicely you see inside the mouth the beak is very long it's like you can do a drill beak or whatever moves out those I think he does know drill pack, drill pack. But the peg for the thing does is in here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it on camera's right there. It's in there, so I guess it's gonna be good. On the other side of Zapdos, his wings are black. That is what I guess you would call it anime accurate. Yeah, this figure is amazing. I don't know why Jazz Wars made this, but they did, and I'm happy. Hopefully they make the legendary beast because that will complete my favorite legendary trio. I mean, hopefully to do Landris and all of them, but I don't, I don't, I'm not holding off of that. Anyway, let's get this with more size comparisons. I'm sorry, before, before I mention that, I do have to say that his, the way he pegs in, it has to be, he has to be sitting forward. So there's a pegs in there. Cause he, if he, if you peg it in straight, he'll look up, he'll be all the way up, but it does not really matter. Cause Zapdos is Zapdos. Now. Comparing them to other Jazzware Select figures, we do have other flying figures, which is Rayquaza here. And we do have Charizard here. And these all do look good together. And if you can get all three of them, well, three of them, minus the other one we're not talking about, um, then get all three of them because they are worth the money. Rayquaza looking bad, bad behind over here. You see Zapdos in the background. They all do size pretty well, except for Rayquaza. He might should be a little bit longer, but it doesn't matter. We're not gonna include Griga Ninja because nobody likes that figure. Anyway, let's get one more size comparison. Now from one kid, Tony and Legendary to another, we do have the Tomy um, in battle, in scale battle figure 
series Mewtwo with the Jazzwares Select Zapdos. And these do look together. They're Bereloty around the same size. And it just brings light to a collector's heart, you know? They're also. But anyway, guys, if you love this review, leave a comment, subscribe for more. And I'll be sure to get another review up as soon as possible. Keep training, guys.